Hi. It's free preset Friday. Here's what we've got today. It's a really popular effect on like Instagram and TikTok. So we are in this vertical resolution here. And now I am stacking five different clips on my timeline. Select the video and make those a fusion clip. And now if I open my effects library, come down to uh, effects Sterling supply company, my new preset is SSC mobile stack. If I drag and drop that right on that fusion clip, then now you see it instantly arranges three of those in frame. This preset is flexible. You can go down to three or you can jump over to the effects page, change that to four or even all five. And we even have an alternate style of that five if you wanna give a little more focus to your clip in the middle. I'm about to walk through a little bit more about this preset, but first it is preset Friday and that means we have the deal. As always, the deal is you get an amazing free preset for Resolve. And in return, you actually watch the entirety of this video. Maybe leave a like, maybe leave a comment. Thanks. Like I said, this is a really popular effect, especially on like Instagram reels and stories. There was a great tutorial on doing this manually on the edit page from Jamie Fenn. And also it just happens that while I was making this preset, another creator, Suelvi, was also making a similar preset. His is just the straight five, but it's clean. He has also done some other free giveaways. A link to his channel will be in the description as well. Now this effect uses this fusion clip functionality. This is super powerful. It's kind of like a compound clip where if you right click on this, you can open this fusion clip clip in a timeline of its own. And here you see all five individual videos uh, on their own track. And this is really helpful. If I then want to dive in and do any custom color grading on these, I will need to pop open the timeline uh, and disable any of these to get to the ones I want to view. But then I would be able to do some like simple gradings. I'm not doing anything too fancy. But then if I turned all these back on, went back to my timeline and then back to my main timeline, you'll see and now that clip has a color grid on it. And of course, if I want to rearrange the order of the clips right now, they will be in the order they are stacked on that original timeline. But if I just open that in a timeline and shift these around, you can see, hey, now because this uh, Jeep clip is on top, if I go back to my effect, those will switch. And like I said, it defaults to this three option and you can just make a fresh fusion clip just with those three. And I'll drag those on, trim those, select just three make that a fusion clip. And then if I drag on a fresh copy of that effect, it will just arrange those three in frame. Now let's hop into some of the custom controls. You will see that by default, we have this line separating each of the video clips, but I can come into effects and just toggle that off if I want it. Or I can toggle on and increase the thickness or decrease it just a little bit. As this thickness, uh, by default, this slider only goes up to 0.01. But if you wanted, you could always manually enter something much, much larger. And then of course, even change this color to maybe even a uh, black. That looks pretty cool. But underneath those, you have custom source controls for all of these clips being brought in. And these are uh, custom source one to five starting at the bottom. Because this matches that fusion clip timeline, it will always be one, two, three, four, five. And even if I bring this back down to three, it will be what's on layer one, two, and three. So if I decide to size up this bottom one, three, even if I jump back to a, another preset like five, that is still zoomed up and I can reposition that if I wanna get anything special in frame like the van, it's a cool van. Or if, or if I wanna zoom in like on these balloons in four, great, it all stays perfectly in frame. And because these are such large videos, I believe the only situation where you might marginally lose detail is uh, on three, because they had to scale up slightly larger than how they were cropped in Fusion. It's a little complicated. If it's noticeable at all, it's very, very slight. It's super fun to play with, mess around. Uh, I think this, this could help a lot of people. So that's the new free preset. Instantly arrange up to five video clips evenly spaced in the frame, and then you can adjust uh, each individual source and the lines. It's cool. I'd like to grab this preset will be in the description. And I also want to say that I almost entirely developed this uh, on a live stream. We do occasional live streams on this channel. They're super chill, but sometimes I work on cool stuff like this and sort of go behind the scenes. It's nice. So if you don't want to miss one of those live streams or even future free presets, you know, that's, that's what the subscribe button is for. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.